What's up? What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy, JND Intellect, Mr. J. Indiana Jones, Mr. J. Indy Intellect, coming to y'all with another video. <clears throat> so, this one, I'm just kind of want to stress to y'all. Why are y'all claiming yourself to be colors? You need a nationality. Get yourself a nationality. Get yourself a nationality. If you knew you was had some Cherokee Indian in you and you, you Cherokee. Stop going by colors, please. I beg you, stop going my colors. An African American is identical to colors because it's all under race. No, nothing under the race card. The whole race card thing, that's a part of the United States Corporation of America. That's they United States Corporation of America. That's they shindig. For sure it is. Cause um you just want to get your nationality, man. Get your nationality. Get your stuff in check. You more. They call them morons. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. So, we need to really also get into our spirituality. I'm not saying go join a religion or become religious. I said spirituality. Go get you a spirituality. And when you tuning in to God, you tuning in. You have to be tuning in to yourself. That's if you are God. Because God, we are a part of God. Like, for instance, like I was talking about angels earlier. So angels is pretty much like a deity, right? Say angels, well, they're their own entity. Like, we humans. Even though that probably got spliced some way. I mean, they said, I mean, of course we was created. It gets deep when it comes down to, to how we're humans created. And who are humans. And who we're first. And what are the other. Like, and some stuff. And I'm still researching into that. And I mean, I can throw, throw jabs out there. I can throw some shots. But I mean... Without me fully understanding, I could be put on a pedestal like, hey, what is this and that? And I'm like, shit, I don't know. I ain't studied it yet. You know what I mean? I just know, you know, I hear things. I learn a few things and it's just be things that I got to study. But I know it's all a part of a whole big program. Like, if you really get into your history, you understand like Turkey, Germany, like Spain, all that. That was the Moor. So that Europe, the Moors had on deck. But they also was in America. Like, Egypt didn't come. Like, how people be like, um, they brought Egyptian history over to the American history. You know, it's backwards. American took it over to the Egyptian. Like, they said Africa, the biggest continent, right? And yeah, they do make it. They do try to be making Africa look small. Like, you got to understand. Like, uh, one of my homies from Togo, he was on some, uh, like, in Nigeria, I think that's what we was talking about. He said they got, like, five big cities. You know what I'm saying? They got, like, five. You know, they probably, I mean, just from a theoretical guesstimation, hypothetical speech, thought, whatever, um, Chicago, St. Louis. Kansas City, Memphis, um, and let's just go with uh, Iowa City or Indianapolis. Let's say Indianapolis, Indianapolis. So all five of those cities itself are inside of Nigeria as a whole. And this will show you how big that country is over there. It's big countries. Like, you know, we so used to going by little states all broken up. 
Now these are big countries that's taking off a big portion of our states. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's going on with that. And um then what was I talking about? Um the stuff going uh different states, whatever. I'll be losing track of my mind. But uh I might even just bounce around. Cause uh while well, I'm talking about the spirituality and getting our spirituality right, we have to because it's and you like cause when I be doing my study, you know, shout out shout out to Deborah Tavares, um, stopthecrime.net. She be on some uh deep stuff, like she be going at going at them like she know about the water and how they're taking over the water and what they're doing to the water she know uh, a lot about the 5g she know about the um towers and the doppler radars and how they uh manipulate the weather with uh, modified weaponry um so she be deep on that she be having a little uh the documents, you know what I'm saying, you know, the papers, you know, whether it's like an article, if it's, uh, uh, my, my brain just bouncing today, y'all, it's just bouncing today, but, you know, some type of, uh, document, basically, uh, talking about it, and she be on it, like, but that 5G, so, what they plan on doing, because we pretty much already in, like, a state of police, we pretty much already in martial law, the pre-game sessions already in the states we just ain't really knowing it and i was just talking to my wife like i feel bad about the officers because they you know it's been hot outside real hot people been hot you know so but i was just saying like you know it is it's hot out here but i feel bad for the officers because they got to deal with so much different stuff like they had to deal with all the hot stuff and then uh it was like small stupid things that they had to go do because uh, she was reading off the uh, scanner and what they had going on so it's just a whole bunch of stuff so then some things you feel bad from some of the stuff they had them going out there to do was, was like really like what y'all on and that's why I was getting on the whole state of police thing like we already we already set up how they got it set up for that it's like they just set in the trap basically it's like when you let me just try to come up with something real quick and so my little brother he always cry and get what he want and he's 15 and he's still able to do it and I need 50 bucks so I need him to cry and ask mama don't can he get 50 bucks cause they ain't gonna give it to me so he can cry and I can get the money, but he don't know that I'm setting it up like that. He just know that I need 50 bucks. And so I did something, set him up, and made him cry. And when he cried, he went and got the 50 bucks, well, 100 bucks, and broke me the 50 because I needed it, not knowing that I set up the whole thing. Like, I, I set up the whole fact that I knew he was going to get the 100 and be able to split it 50-50 with me. You know, I didn't tell him that was what, what how I wanted him to give me the money. I didn't tell him that, but I set it up so that would be the way that I could get the money. It was instant, and that's how I did it. I set the trap. I already knew what was up, so I, I set the scene. I make it happen, and when it happened, I bring the remedy for it. But, you know, that's a little different, but you see where I'm going with it. Like, just being controlling of that whole narrative. And that's what they own. If they put you in concentration camps and all that. Uh, but at the same time, the world changes. So it ain't going to be really, really what you think and take as a concentration camp for some people. Like, say, for instance, you get locked down in your city. So the whole city on shut. And, yeah, you know, the cops just become regular security officers. Your military, your National Guards and stuff, they become your police officers. And then the U.N. would be there, and they would be the military services. But yet, they might not be so er erratic all out in the streets too much. You know, they'd probably enforce their law. They will let you know what's going on and then set it up the way that they need to get it set up and done. You know, during the time process period, you might have to stay in some type of Sam's Club or Walmart 
or uh, apartment districts or some crap while they building the new smart cities for you to go to or getting ready to ship you out don't uh, claim that area you know you can't go to that area no more it's a, a deserted area now and it's off limits and they doing that uh, <laughs> let me stop dams I heard create earthquakes and then when you really get to think about it, like, just not even thinking about it, the dam creating an earthquake. Say, for instance, that's too outrageous. Think about dams in the first place. So, was dams always here since the beginning of the time? Like, the Hoover Dam, all this shit? Uh, hell no, nah, they built that shit. They built that shit. And they only could build it for disaster, because any other motherfucker's tip or break or overfill, man, you talking about what's getting flooded? You saving up all this water for what? Probably destroying all the natural streams and shit that used to flow into the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Because it should, everything should be floating together. The Mississippi River, aka the Nile River, aka the Amazon River. You know what I'm saying? Same things. Same things. We, um, from North America, right? Because when I was getting back to talking about how big the continents was. See, I'm going all the way back and I'm hopping around. But you got South America, North America, Canada, North Pole. We really like one continent together because we connect. Maybe it cut off at the North Pole. Maybe it broke off by now. But Canada is damn sure there. Alaska is too. And that's all connected to North America, right? And that's all connected to Mexico, which is the centerpiece. They call Central America, right? And that connects to South America, right? That's one connection of one whole continent. How you going to separate a continent in, with continents? That's goofy. I understand putting countries inside of a continent. But splitting up continents just by names is connected. The land is connected. But I guess you could say, oh, what, what about Europe and Asia and Africa? And now you're getting somewhere. Let me see my Wi-Fi on. Yeah, you're getting somewhere with that one. Could we say that? Uh, Moors, they was Asiatic black people, right? Asiatic? Hmm. So, you know, out there in uh, Europe, basically, then in Africa, Northern Africa, and then in the Americas, from down to top. People in South America, they are our brother, y'all. They are our brothers. We're connected. And the reason the wall is to keep me locked in if I'm Donald Trump. Which is going to be and stay our president until time will tell. Because after Trump pre presidency, I see it slightly slim to none. If it ain't a woman, then it ain't going to be a president. Period. And that's what I know was going on with that. 5G is horrible. But it's things that you can beat it with. Which is higher vibrations. Higher frequencies. And that's how you got to get. I mean of course you know you got to have a healthy diet. You know you got to have a healthy diet. Eat all that meat if you want to. And I hope you don't. I hope you don't. Please don't. Stop eating it. Stop eating flesh. I'm telling you, look it up. It was a guy somewhere out in uh, Asia, like the Russia part, and found he ate somebody, but he wanted to eat somebody, and he's on like a, a site where it was like a community of people who wanted to get eaten. So he recorded the whole thing. So, I mean, he went to jail, but that was the first case ever like that. So they didn't know what to do in the first place. So, I mean, they just put him in jail, but, you know. 
dude had died. He, he basically killed dude. You know what I'm saying? But he wanted to be killed and, and ate alive. So as he was trying to cut off body parts, but he ended up dying. So it was like, damn. So he said eventually he just completed the mission. You know what I'm saying? Did he did his thing? And he said it was delicious. It tastes better than pork, but he's like, it tastes like pork, but even better, or something like that. So that go to show you meat and flesh tastes like meat and flesh, because that's what it is. It might be different textures, but at the end of the day, it's still meat and flesh. Be my guess, and that ain't the only thing that's getting you. It's getting all of us, you know what I'm saying? It's fluoride in our water. And in your toothpaste, your normal toothpaste. Mm. It's crazy. GMO'd everything. Like, uh, when I was on uh, the chat with uh, Bro Sanchez, I was on a uh, panel the other day, like two, about two, three days ago. We was on the panel. And, you know, we, we was up there chopping it up about health. And Film was talking about the expiration date. So he said the expiration date is the GMO lifespan. Because he said, like, natural fruit, you know what I'm saying? They last for, like, four to seven days. So you think about it. As soon as it come off that tree, it's, like, four to seven days. He said, how you know? Because you start getting fruit flies. Fruit flies is, like, the inspectors. They're the detectors. They're the alarms going off to let you know uh, this fruit is, is now to the other side. It is now passed. You know what I'm saying? It has lost its, lost its lifespan. You know, we think, oh, they hungry and stuff. But yeah, they, they the detectors. They know when the food, they go eat the food when it gets bad. And that's their job. So, once you take that in, you'll get it. You'll get it. With the GMOs, like, you got to think about it. They shipping this fruit and stuff over. And if you work, I worked in produce before. So, you knowing you got crates. You sitting there with crates. Boxes. Crates and boxes. And, and, and trays with fruits and vegetables. That's sitting there because you got to wait till the rest of the food that's out there on the floor get sold or go bad before you take these out the box and go re you do that over and over until you finish that box or crate or tray yet yeah, it's more boxes trays and crates so this shit is just staying alive forever this is n nature's fruit right because it's because of the uh, the chemicals they use to keep the lifespan, to expand the uh, storage life. So he was saying, like, if it's expand the storage shelf life, but when the shelf life go out, then you got like a four to seven window to eat that. You see what I'm saying? Because now it's back to the natural state, but it's about to go bad. It was preserved. Which you still had the chemicals, so, so you still gonna have to battle through that too. So that's the obstacle. Of like, is that even healthy or not? Anyway, but it sounds more healthier than eating it when it's completely contaminated in GMO. So you get in tune with yourself. You know thyself. Uh, your chakras are this. They they the solar system. Your chakras are the solar system. So how these planets retrograde and do everything? That's your that's the chakras within within your body. It's uh, uh, micro macro, small big. You know what I'm saying? And um, you gotta take that in consideration. Cause once you get your nationality together, which is law. You get your spirituality, spirit, spirituality together, and then you get your health together. Those three main things: get your nationality, get your health, and get your spirituality game on lock and all in tuned into one. Level yourself out, expand and grow on that level. You know what I'm saying? Learn these chakras. Learn what these stones is. Learn what these are. Learn what the copper do. You know what I'm saying? You see, something I've been doing real quick. Um, I know I'm probably going to drop some. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that is pennies, though. You see what I'm saying? So, let's think about these pennies. Let's see, 1981, 1979, 1974. All of them going to be under 1982 because that's when you get your copper pennies. So now, you think about it like, oh, I don't even got to go to my local store to buy a stone, 
of copper a piece of copper I don't have to really go buy a piece of copper because I got pennies I got a bunch of pennies everywhere that I ain't even checked the dates yet on them so you know that's what I'm doing and I'm separating them I'm, I'm gaining my copper you can melt that down to make your own copper stone or just use them and get it to, to itself you know what I'm saying so learn these things to learn how the health go yeah. I mean, I do astrology and uh, astro theology. You know, I kind of okay in numerology. I study occult. You know, I study religions. I'm getting into uh, learning more about health, and I'm getting into learning more about law. So it's just things you got to just get yourself in tune with learn just keep learning just keep going it takes time you know but just keep going and the more you do the better you get but you raise that vibration and that frequency when this 5g didn't kick off you'd be better suitable to survive in it like your levels can outdo the technology that they're going to be using against you they're going to be able to control your mind basically they're going to be making your decisions for you you think subjective programming is hard now with the magic box on the television. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Wait till that technology gets you wrapped. And now you stuck. But then you satisfied. Because who wouldn't be satisfied? Like I'm saying, you could live in the in a nice smart city with all this technology. Living with robots basically and become impartial robot. Because now you can die and change your body. You know what I'm saying? Some, some high tech top notch shit but or you could be on the outskirts so now what all these natural natural disasters like if the new Madrid fault line go again everybody in Chicago y'all going in the Mississippi River everybody in that whole area from Illinois uh, parts of Iowa uh, Indiana parts of Indiana you know probably parts of Michigan because it's up there maybe Wisconsin get hit a little bit going all the way down you know Arkansas Kansas all of those getting hit because it's basically gonna split when Mississippi gonna open up gonna open up the Mississippi is gonna get bigger the Mississippi River is gonna open up it's gonna connect all the way from the Great Lakes all the way down to the Gulf that's what the Mississippi River gonna do so everybody in those areas man I'm from that area my people in that area and it's just like if I could really do time on this I really would give it to y'all but all I can suggest is be prepared be prepared be prepared always have a full tank they say always have a full tank make sure you got some type of um like all your important papers put all your important papers together don't have them all separated and stuff in the house. Have them all ready together where you know where it's at. Just have little little stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just just little things. You do little things like that. And it'll work out for you. And, and the best. Rather need it and not. I mean, rather have it and not need it. Than need it and not have it. So, that's always that with the intellect. So, I mean, I ain't going to get too much deep on the great mother you know what I'm saying or things like that that's on another time but you get in tune with her and it and what's going on really your ancestors you the reincarnated you're the reincarnated you hearing this for a reason you hearing this for a reason for real your spirituality your nationality not no color not no color what I got up right here in my hand talking about colors your spirituality your nationality and get your law together know what's going on that's your nationality right so then you get your health together you have to get your body in tune. You have to get your body in tune. You get your life, your health together, everything going to be alright. But look, I'm at 25 minutes. I got to go. 
and get my little hefty little meal on and then maybe tomorrow we meet again I still got the Donald Trump part 2 coming yep I still got that sugar part 2 coming and I got some other videos but I was just rambling you can see in the eyes <laughs> But for real though, y'all, it's y'all Indiana Jones, Mr. J and the Intellect. I'm tuning out. Peace, love, and abundance to y'all family. Love, deuce.